I'm just going to go make this video I'm talking about Spider-Man, the character, and what Tom Hanks needs to do to what Tom Hanks needs to do. And honestly, he, I, now I said in my far from home, uh, Spider Man up jokes the least and homecoming. That was until Farm From Home happened. And you know he joked the least and homecoming it was actually consistent of him joking. It felt like a consistent part, actual part of his character. Where the first two Spidey and films got wrong. And... Um, how am I doing today? I don't know what else to say. You don't have to say anything more. Hmm? You don't have to say anything more. You can show them this coming at the water and stuff. You want. The what? The water. Yeah, it's the water. And... It seems like for this incarnation of Spider-Man that he has to mold himself into the character to get all of the character traits of Spider-Man from the comics. <clears throat> and that's thanks to smart writing and uh, creative people. Uh, especially the actor that plays him. What do you think of that? That's awesome. And yeah, I really hope in the third installment, we I see the I see everyone else sees what I see in Tom Holland. The best Spider-Man of all of the live action versions and animated versions and when I say he's better than all the animated version that's a uh, that's a really uh, a positive comment in my uh, window for me because the animated versions of Spider-Man have always been better in my in my eye because you know and no matter what they always seem to get the character right Right down to his tinkering and uh, uh, to his tinkering to uh, his sarcasm. Tinkering means figuring things out, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now I don't know any of uh, I see pretty much all the cartoon Spider-Man's incarnations and I love all of them. And I love Tom Holland's Spider-Man a lot. He really like Okay, that's going to shower.
Hi. So yeah. I'm going to call this Gay Talks About His Love for Tom Holland Premier. So yeah, I just... I want everyone to see what I see in Spider-Man. A brave hero who's not afraid to crack jokes in the face of danger. Who and also and who is also um very very smart and can figure stuff out. And looks like uh They really, far from home, my god, I feel like it really tried to do all those things, but I think someone just decided to edit it out Spider-Man's, uh, 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 so a good, so edit a good chunk of Spider-Man's sarcasm off the script. So yeah, uh, that's my thoughts, and I don't know how I can talk anything bad about. And I, you know, I just hope for the best. If I sound like I'm negative, I'm not negative. I'm just really passionate about Spider-Man. I want the best for him. I don't care if it, I don't care if the movie is long. I just want him to be himself. Is that wrong? I felt the same way with all the Marvel and DC characters and combo characters. I mean, sure, I might be the most famous critic if I went with whatever other people say if for liking a film just because it was popular, but I would be probably the stupidest critic if I thought that that was more important than loving my hero. Spider-Man, or any of my heroes, which Spider-Man, I guess, is Spider-Man, my best friend, or well, one of my best friends. Uh, I know he's not real, but he's real to me. time in the Ultimate cost, Spidey made a bunch of fat jokes to the Kingpin. <laughs> it was funny. This was when the Kingpin was a, before the Kingpin beat him up and was about to beat him up. <laughs> and he said, I worked really hard on these. <laughs> and... Amazing Fantasies had that kind of stuff too. But the jokes to me in Ultimate Comics were more memorable. At least that's just why I thought. I mean, I love the Amazing Fantasy, the original Amazing Fantasy run Spider Man. I really do. You know, there's only like two runs of Spider-Man that I I read myself, which was the all a little bit of the Ultimate run and pretty much all of the of um 
The Amazing Sanity Run I was read by my d dad. And I read some when I could still have better reading skills. But you know, I don't believe a bunch of bad stuff happened. I was confident in myself. And me, Dan, and AJ are going to go mini golf, so let's bring on the first while you're on here, so. I think I have said enough of how much I love Spider Man and how much I think Tom Holland's Spider Man can uh, pr be approved on in the future. And uh, the more to me that didn't explain me like the kids character like the comics, the more to me it's easier to get me crying. And it's also helpful the more I think about how much I like Spider-Man from the comics and other adaptations. Now, Far From Home does nail it, but it only... It doesn't... It nails it, but it's not a home run like Homecoming to me. It's not a doubt in my mind or heart that Tom Holmes is the best Spider-Man in Chicago. Out of any animation or live adaptation. All he decides to do is just be his own man. Feel happy and show everyone that I am right. I hope that makes sense. And that will be up, the rest will be up to the creative people of the movies and 
Uh. I always joke when um in homecoming when um <laughs> he says this you know that's kinda sad that um that other guy was better with that thing than you. <laughs> <laughs> 